Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. And thank you in advance for liking and subscribing to my channel. Your support allows me to continue to do these reviews, so thanks. If you watched my channel, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Pen BBS and of the Pen BBS models. I personally feel the 456 vacuum filler is the best and certainly my favorite. I had four and gave my first one away as part of a channel giveaway contest a few months back. That was the totally transparent clear glass model. And now I'm back up to four because I went to the other end of the finished spectrum and bought this totally black, totally opaque 456 with a totally black fine mini Fude nib. And spoiler alert, it's totally awesome. I had to have this one as it's so unique. Plus, I'd been recommending to Pen BBS that they introduce a totally opaque black finish into one of their models. I didn't expect the glossy black finish on the nib as well. This makes for a very unique pen indeed. I don't think I've ever seen a 456 like this before, and I don't think there were many of them made. I know a lot of people complain that I shouldn't do a review just because I get the same pen in a different color. But I have three arguments against that. A. This is unique. There's never been a nib like this from Pen BBS before. And two, spoiler alert, this may be the most amazing Pen BBS pen I've ever experienced. And three, shut up. This is my channel. I'll do whatever the f I want, even if it only pleases me. So join me as I show how basic black can be anything but boring. right now. So if you've been watching me at all, you'll know that I love Pen BBS number one, and my favorite Pen BBS pen is the 456 vacuum filler. I had four of them. I gave the clear one away as part of one of my contests, and I have told you that my favorite this is a new leather, oxblood leather pen case, handmade by Claire Massa, who is a subscriber. And thank you, Claire. Isn't that great? Beautiful, beautiful work. And she made one for my wife as well. Fabulous. So this is my now favorite pen BBS pen. It is the 456 Galaxy, and it goes with me everywhere. But then... I saw a new 456 in a finish I've never seen before. In my previous conversations with Alan Light of What I Ink, uh, we've speculated on what we like and what we don't like about Pen BBS and where we think we, they should be going. Uh, one was we think they should be making 14 karat gold nibs, number six size, and they are. I'm excited about getting one of those. But also, I always said that I'd like to see a jet black, opaque black. A, a typical pen like this with gold trim in a 456 would be great. And lo and behold, what do we see? But a all black 456 with a totally black nib as well. So let's get into this package and see this new 456. And here's our typical pen BBS sleeve, which has 456. I'm interested to see what color number this is. It just says black. And the color number is 15. 45615 with a fine nib, but this is a new nib. It's all black. Just in case you didn't know, it's made in China. BT Zainar. BT. <laughs> and our pen BBS box. Magnetic closure, just to remind everybody, don't tilt this all the way back because it'll break it's fine. And we have, I think this is the first filling card I've ever had on a 456. And here's the pen. Woohoo, it's black. It's jet black. It's the previous black is 
was the black tortoise black. And it's sort of semi-transparent and but purplish. But this is jet black. And the nib is jet black. Look at that. It's a fine nib. It's that mini fude style fine nib. But they've just, I think, enamel painted it black. Isn't that marvelous? works like it's supposed to well that's that's a wonderful pen look at that and of course I love that the four five six posts like that so I'll be anxious to put some ink in this and what do you think black I think black and we'll give this a put this pen through its paces something to look forward to and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned, as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. I won't go into a lot of detail about this Pen BBS 456, as I've reviewed the model quite a few times. I will link the in-depth reviews in the description, which you can watch at your leisure. I will provide the measurements in this video, however. Let's start by comparing this Stealthy Black 456 to my other 456s. Here is my favorite 456 up until now. And this is the Galaxy 456. And then there is my Amber is a Cat. And then one in Niangao. The advantage of the Amber and Niangal versions is they're slightly translucent. And if you hold them up to the light, you can actually see your ink levels uh, in them. The Galaxy and the Jet Black, not so much. They're opaque. So if seeing your ink levels is important to you, I would suggest that you avoid the opaque models. I don't have an issue with it, however. If I'm taking a pen away from my office and I'm unsure about how much ink I have, I'll either just refill it quickly or unscrew the section and take a look inside. It doesn't take more effort than unscrewing a cartridge converter pen and to check the ink levels inside to see whether you got enough ink. I don't see the issue, frankly. Opaque piston fillers and vacuum fillers uh, with no ink windows and non-removable sections like this Leonardo Furore Grande, uh, they can be an issue. Uh, but if in doubt, just fill the pen again. It doesn't take that long. The other feature that vacuum fillers with shutoff valves have that frustrates some users is the fact that you have to unscrew the piston knob in order to allow the ink to flow into the section. I don't see the big deal. Uh, if you forget and your pen runs out of ink, when you know the pen is full, you just smack yourself in the head and unscrew it. It just takes seconds. Now, don't smack yourself in the head while holding the pen, however. That's an important safety tip. You might damage your nib. One of the things I really love about the 456, other than its superb balance and ergonomics, is how well the pen posts. For me, the 456 vacuum filler is a great pen for taking with you anywhere. The shutoff valve protects you from having the pen burp ink into the cap or your pocket due to temperature changes or air pressure changes, and the posting of the cap aids in keeping track of the cap on the go. Quick notes while sitting in the car can be a problem if you have no place to put the cap. Even though I'm not a fan of stealthy all black pens, this jet black pen with the glossy black nib and the chrome trim is very attractive. I mentioned on the Pen BBS Facebook forum that I'd really like to see this jet black 456 with gold colored hardware and the 456 two-tone nib. Someone else mentioned that the satin gold colored trim would be wonderful, and I agree. Black and gold is as classic as it gets, 
And with Penn BBS coming out with 14 karat gold nibs very soon, it will be cool to see if they add those as options to some of their models. I know I've been setting my alarm early on Sunday mornings every week, waiting for Baini Zheng to drop these gorgeous nibs on us. Top of the hour, time for the morning news. But of course, there is no news yet. Everyone's still asleep in their comfy, comfy beds. Good night, everybody. Aww. Let's take a closer look at this black nib. It is a standard Pen BBS Fine Mini Fude Waverly style nib, but it has been painted black uh, with some kind of gloss enamel paint. It has all the typical engraving of the original standard fine nib, and it has the same feed and collar assembly that unscrews. Even the writing surface of the pen tip has been painted with this gloss enamel. And yes, this does have a dramatic effect on how the nib writes. We shall see that shortly. As I mentioned earlier, the cap posts deeply and securely, and the pen is extremely well balanced and comfortable in the hand, both posted and unposted. I bought this pen from the Pen BBS official Etsy shop for $39.99 US. I think this is a bargain at twice the price. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Pen BBS 456 uh, Jet Black with a Pelican M800, a Leonardo Furore Grande, a Wingsong 699 vacuum filler, and a Pilot Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. As you can see, they all post very, very nicely. Of course, the Grande is very big compared to the rest of them. But the, uh, the best poster of all of them, I think, is the Pelican M800. It's just uh, an incredible writing machine. So let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Pen BBS four five six black and it has a fine steel nib. Let's check the wetness. It's decently wet now. Uh, and here's some video I shot when I first inked this pen and wrote with it for the first time. So here we are all inked up with Takasumi. First writing. try this out. So typically dry as a fine mini food day is always. This is very, very smooth. One of the smoothest nibs I think I've ever experienced right out of the box from Pen BBS. And still a little dry. So let's give it the Doug's patented seven strokes to happiness. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Now let's try it. Much better. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
That's magnificent. Magnifica. The nib is ultra smooth and now very, very wet. After I applied Doug's patented seven strokes to wet happiness technique. What is the sixth happiness? That you must find out for yourself. Each person decides in his own heart what the sixth happiness is. I'm convinced the extra smoothness is because of the black enamel on that tip. Because I've never felt a pen BBS nib this smooth. Most of them, even though they're very, very smooth, uh, give you some feedback. This, there's almost no feedback at all. Very interesting. And the ink today is Iroshizuku. Here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. This is my very favorite black ink. It flows and feels like silk. And as to line variation, well, there's not much to be had. This is still a very stiff steel nib. Typical of pen BBS. This line is 0.5 millimeters in thickness, which makes it a Western fine and a Japanese fine to medium. And for our quote, And for some reverse writing, it actually works very nicely. And the feed is keeping up. It is a lot drier, but uh, you're getting a nice thin and how gray line out of that. And some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, I've done quite a few videos on the Pen BBS 456. I've compared it with other models of Pen BBS and I've pronounced it one of my favorite pen models and the Galaxy 456 in particular as one of my top of 2020. This 456 surpasses all the rest of them. Yes, I like the Galaxy finish better. Uh, than the plain black, but the way this pen writes is nothing short of spectacular. This pen now sits with my Pilot E95S and my Pelican M800 as the best writing experiences I've had. This will easily make the top 10 list for 2021, so I'm pleased that I snagged one the moment I saw it. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you... for watching... And that's all she wrote. this.